Yo, what's going on guys? It's just try back with another video. And uh, today's video, as you guys know, Ryan McDonough was fired this morning by the Phoenix Suns organization. And uh, I'm going to be giving you guys my reasons why this is a good good thing for the Phoenix Suns. And going forward, I think uh, they'll start to become the team that they once were. So uh, let's hop right into it. Alright, so any loyal Phoenix Suns fan knows the Phoenix Suns when they were good and now that they're not. Uh, since the Steve Nash era of 2012, that's when he was traded to the Los Angeles Lakers. Since 2012, the Suns, the Phoenix Suns have not been good at all. Not at all. In the Steve Nash era, the Suns were Western Conference Finals pretty much every year. They went to the Finals at least once or twice. And Steve Nash and Amari Stoudemire, Raja Bell, Grant Hill, guys like that, we all love and know, they're gone. And now the Suns are the worst team in the league. It's, it's hard to hard to say, but they're the worst team in the league now. I'm going to talk about the things that Ryan McDonough has done to make him get fired. Starting with the number four overall pick in the 2016 draft, Dragon Bender. He, there were questions about him up to the draft, leading up to the draft. He's a European player. He was a seven-footer. He can shoot. The Suns were in need of a big man, so they took Dragon Bender, and so far, he's not lived up to the hype at all. He's been a bust. His rookie year, he averaged 3.4 points as a number four overall pick. He was supposed to be good at threes. He shot 28% from the three-point line in his rookie year. His second year, which was last year, he averaged 6.5 points a game. A little bit better. His three-point percentage was 37%. Still, he was a number four overall pick. It's unacceptable for a number four overall pick. He's he lacks big man abilities. He's he, right now he's just a seven footer who shoots threes. He lacks he lacks defense. He doesn't go for rebounds. He he's soft. He's probably one of the softest big men in the league right now. We passed up Buddy Heald, Jamal Murray. Malcolm Brogdon and Chris Dunn in that draft passed up all of them took Dragon Bender at four took Marquise Chris at eight Buddy Hill Jamal Murray Malcolm Brogdon Chris Dunn were all there when we took them they were all there now if you ask me all four of those guys are tremendously better than Marquise Chris and Dragon Bender Marquise Chris isn't even on the team anymore we just traded him to the Rockets. That's that's unreal. That, that's just the start. Second of all, the Suns have failed to land a star. And by Suns, I mean Ryan McDonough. He's the GM. He's the man who needs to run the camp. Who needs to be in charge. And he has yet to land a star. We've missed Kyrie Irving. Kawhi Leonard. LaMarcus Aldridge. We were down to the final two with LaMarcus Aldridge, and the Spurs got him over us. Had a chance to get Kyrie. Didn't want to do the trade. Why? Why would you not want to get Kyrie Irving? One of the best point guards in the league today. A star. To pair with your star right now, Devin Booker. That is one of the only things that Ryan McDonough has done good so far, and that's keeping Devin Booker. But the rest of these, are just unacceptable. A good GM would have taken Kyrie Irving and traded for him. A good GM would have got Kawhi Leonard, would have got LaMarcus Aldridge. They would have made those trades. That's what a good GM would have done. Right now, as of right now, the Suns do not have a point guard. The Suns had uh, Goran Dragic, Eric Bledsoe, and Isaiah Thomas. Traded them all. Let them all go. You're probably thinking, who's the point guard right now? Shaq Harrison and rookie Elio Kobo, who they just drafted. No point guard. I, don't get me wrong, I like Shaq Harrison, but they need a vet to learn behind. They need some. They needs to be better. The position needs to be better. Shaq Harrison is a second year, second year guy. I like him. I think he's gonna be good, but right now he's just not it. It's not it. Elio Kobo is gonna be good. Right now, it's just not it. Having a Kyrie there probably would help, definitely. 
for sure. But the failure to land a point guard will continue to not make the Suns good and disappoint Devin Booker. I will say, it's not all been entirely bad for Ryan McDonough. He, ha- he has gotten Devin Booker. He drafted Devin Booker. And he signed him to, uh, I'm not sure exactly what the deal was, but he's kept him. He's going to be keeping him for a while. And he just drafted DeAndre Ayton, which was the smart move. Smart move. They needed a big. They got one. They got arguably the best player in the draft. Good move. It's hard for a GM to screw up the number one overall pick. And he didn't. So I'll give him that. But overall, Ryan McDonough has not done well. He signed guys like Tyson Chandler and Jared Dudley to major contracts. Brandon Knight, major contracts. Why? Ryan McDonough traded Marquise Chris and Brandon Knight to the Houston Rockets for Ryan Anderson and DeAnthony Milton. He took on Ryan Anderson's contract. He got he got Trevor Reason free agency. What, like what? What what is? I think that was just the last straw, and now he's out of a job. It's what happens when a GM doesn't make good GM moves, and just where are the Suns headed? Where that's the question. Are they ever gonna make the playoffs again? I don't know. But now that he's out of the building, I think it was the right move. It's the first step in making the Suns great great again. Let me know down in the comments section what you guys think about Ryan McDonough. And if you like this move or if you didn't, don't forget to uh, leave a like and subscribe. Don't forget to hit that bell notification that we get notified whenever I upload a brand new video. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace. Rockstar, that's our